Hey, come on, guys. Let's play. Hey, what's up, Rockflock? This is the Master Gamer, Rockhawk64, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest Wavy Edition! Woo! Actually, I'm kidding. Apparently, it only does that in first person. Anyways, if you guys remember in our last episode, we ventured up Death Mountain, we got turned into a Hylian Pancake, we talked to Brutus of the Gorons, and he told us that apparently, in this place, is where... Uh, Darunia went, where most of the Gorons are being held, and apparently they're going to get fed to a dragon. So, let us get our questing gear in order here. It's not where I wanted the bow to go, but whatever. And let's enter our second dungeon. The Fire Temple. This place, oh man, god, this place. This is one of the few bosses I'm worried might actually kill me in this playthrough. And uh, just to clarify one thing, if I have to use one of these fairies, I will still consider that a death. So far, we've been death-free. But, um, let's, let's just, you know, hope, hope we can keep it that way. So anyways... I do like the music here. In the original one, they actually had, like, Muslim chanting or something. And it had to be a fucking like-like. No, thank you, Mr. Like-like. God. Navi, shut the fuck up already! God damn! But yeah, um, for those of you that don't remember, in the first releases of this game, they actually had, like, what seemed to be, like, Muslim chanting... And it was apparently offensive, so they took it out for a lot of the other releases, and this obviously is a remake. I actually do like this music, though. It sets a much darker mood. But anyways, we kill the like-like. We get a rupee. I thought that might have been a key. But you can see, there's a Goron in here. Please, don't eat me. If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache. You'll be sorry. God, why did that remind me of Big from Sonic? God. Um, yeah, but as you can see, he's trembling. We gotta go free the Gorons. Because, apparently, the Gorons can't save themselves. Because, well, you know. You guys know, NPCs never do anything. Anyways. As you see, this other door here is locked. Which means that we can't go through it. So, why don't we head up the... Whoa! Whoa! Well then, here's another way around the stairs. What happens if we light these, I wonder? Let's try. Let's see our first usage of magic with Din's Fire. Okay. Now we have to so have to light these. So let's do that. Link doesn't really have much magic. So you can see that open that door. Out of the door there, as you can see, it's blocked by something. We can't... We can't get to this door. It's blocked by something. So the only way we can go is this way, because the other way, obviously... Whoa! It's Darudia! <clears throat> Who's there? Is that you, Brutus? Yes, his voice changed, probably. Oh, it really is Brutus! You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He's revived the evil ancient dragon Volvagia. On top of that, he's going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to the other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try and seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Brutus, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. I knew! I just knew that that was going to come back and bite us in the ass. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner's cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Brutus. 
so he apparently had the boss key. What the hell? Why is it still locked? Whatever. So let's see what we got here. Okay, it's been a while since I've been in this temple. In this dungeon, so let's see. Let's go this way first. Okay, as you can see, we got a cage there. There's got to be some way to open this cage, and I think I see it. You see, we got a torch here. Let's go investigate the other side, because maybe we've got a way to solve this puzzle, because we are kind of running low on magic. So let's see what's this way. Oh, we have a hookshot point. And it looks like it's another torch. What's up here? Okay, a third torch. Okay, my guess is we light all the torches, that door will unlock. See if we maybe can't get... Okay. Good. Some magic. Let's just break these boxes open just for shits and giggles. Okay, so what my guess is... We need to... Equip Dense Fire. Okay, and that lights those torches. Then we take our bow and arrow. God damn it. Okay. Let me see something here. God damn it. Let's see. So let's try using Dense Fire again. God, you gotta love these N64 graphics. Okay, now what we've got here on our hands... Okay, I think this might be a timed puzzle, so let's let the torches unlight themselves. Okay. I've got one shot to make this work. So what we want to do... We want to be up here for this. Stand here. Okay, we heard the second torch light. No! Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Come on, Link. God damn it. Well, that... Ugh. Fucking LP curse. I'll be back, guys, when I get some magic.
No, son of a bitch. Alright guys, as you can see I got some magic, so let's uh, try this again, shall we? Dance fire! And then what we do is we don't push forward and roll down into the lava. Jump across here. Jump. 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 Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, I thought we had that other one lit. Okay, we got one of them lit. There we go! Boom! What the hell? How did I snipe that out? Anyways, that's what it appears you were supposed to do. So, we get a key. And if you guys remember, we had a door that required a key, which means that we can continue now. So, let's go. I'm not exactly sure how many episodes this uh, this dungeon will take. Um, so, yeah. So let's see if we can maybe get some magic. Or not. You know, because not getting anything is cool too. Anyways, we open this lock up. Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn it, more Stalfos. God damn it. Alright, heart. Oh, that's right, this dungeon introduces shit, son of a bitch! One of my favorite mini bosses of this game. God damn it. So hopefully we'll get to meet one this episode.
get out of here. Anyways, once we kill all the enemies, store unlocks. So let's switch back to the hook shot. Yes, we do get to meet one. First of all, you guys might remember these things. These living tiles. Now that thing there... Looking pretty ominous, isn't it? There's a reason why! Meet the Iron Knuckle! One of the most fearsome enemies led into Zelda. Go, oh, son of a bitch! Look at how much damage he does in one swing! Oh god damn it, this thing might kill me! Fuck the boss! No! I'm dead! Son of a bitch! God damn it! God damn it. That's why you watch what you're doing with these guys. No! Not twice! Son of a bitch! I'm kinda glad our fairies survived the time travel. Now, as you can see, some of his armor is starting to break off, and he's getting a little bit faster. And then he dies. God damn it, I was hoping for a no deaths run. And I mean, I suppose at any time I could have disengaged and. Son of a bitch! There we go. Replenished one of our fairies. Now let's... So when Navi turns green... Don't tell me the damn thing flew off. Son of a bitch. Can we get it to come back, maybe? Please? I don't know. Nope. Well, we replenished one of our fairies. Um, we'll let this episode go on just for a little bit longer, guys. Actually, meeting this guy would be a good place to stop. Meet the mini-boss of the dungeon. The Flare Dancer. Oh, that's right. You have to do, you have to throw a bomb.
Shit. Didn't get over there in enough time. God damn it! This, I found, is actually one of the easier ways to defeat them. Shit. Until you run out of arrows. God damn it. Damn it. Come on, die already, will you? This is not the last of those that we fight. And I think green is actually his final color. So... Yep. Oh shit! He blows up! And up there we find something important. Let's get a replenishment of our bombs. And we open this chest and we get We get the hammer the megaton hammer. Yes. Need to use two hands to swing it, but there we go. We got the dungeon item. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, um, I think that's gonna call it... I think we're gonna call it quits for this episode. Let's see. I think this is the door that... Yeah, um, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. We'll go ahead and do this real quick. I want to. I want to get something of some significance done this episode. Now, why do I have my bow and arrow equipped when it's useless to me? Anyways, see, Link needs two hands to carry this, and you're sitting like, that, "That's a measly little hammer. What can that do?" Watch this. Look at that shock wave. As you can see. This switch looks rusted! Yeah, the switch won't do anything if we stand on it, but if we whack it... Hi, Goron! Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Oh, I see. Big Brother Daruni asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help Big Brother. And... Free Goron! Uh, let's see what's in here. This is something important. 
We got a map. Yeah, we got the dungeon map. So now as you can see, this place is massive. Five levels. We haven't even touched much of the first level. Second floor. Third floor. Second floor is not that big. Third floor is pretty damn huge. Fourth floor looks kind of disjointed. And then the fifth floor is definitely disjointed. How does all this fit up inside a mountain? I don't know exactly. Anyways, you can see we wind up here in our first room. So I think this is as good a point as any to end this episode off. So guys, this has been RockHawk64, bringing you Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest Whack-A-Mole Edition. Just remember, guys, to uh, have fun with life and enjoy it, too. I will catch you all in the next episode. So until then, peace out. Oh, and before I go, also, I have to lament the loss of the no-death run. So, I tried. Anyways, guys, see you later. Peace out.